No. That would imply that all opinions are equally valid, or even worthy of respect. And frankly, the person who said this, your opinion isn't. I'll get to my main point on respect a little later, but first, a bit of background. Click the link to the right to skip ahead. If you follow me on Twitter, you might recognize the opening sentence as being part of an exchange I was involved in. That exchange started when the individual in question stated this. Sadly, this person is not alone in this highly flawed reasoning, and I recommend you look at the retweets by at Macklefill for more examples. Although do not subscribe to that account for your own sanity's sake. Even the owner of the account will tell you don't subscribe to it. If you do not see why that analogy fails, then check the description. And then kindly unsubscribe if you still think the comparison is valid. I personally entered the conversation when said individual followed up their tweet with... I made a few more exchanges with this person, but it boiled down to that award shows have always had a political voice to them, at least as far as I can remember, and gay marriage is not controversial, or rather it shouldn't be. This led me to press them to find out why they are against gay marriage, and eventually led me to use this sentence. Harsh perhaps, but I'll stand by my use of that word. That is the only reason I can think of you would not support any two consenting adults entering into a contract whereby they become the most important person to each other, becoming family. I am aware that there are individuals subscribed to me who are of the opinion that marriage should be a strictly religious ceremony. I'm generalizing a bit here. I consider that irrelevant for this discussion, however, as governments are the body that recognizes marriages. That was followed by the quote at the beginning, which brings me to where I want to start. Respect is earned. And it is also a spectrum where the absence of respect is not disrespect, but rather a more neutral position where the degree of respect is being considered. Any opinion which is held is not automatically worthy of respect. In order to earn respect, that opinion must be defended. Now, there are certain opinions that are highly subjective, and the right of that individual to hold that opinion shouldn't really be questioned. For instance, I have to think the film Man of Steel is an absolute travesty and completely awful and just I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, while other people think it's a near masterpiece. In the end though, such an opinion is one of personal taste, and while it can be fun to debate these things, ultimately there is no right answer. There are also some opinions where there is legitimate debate. Economic theory comes immediately to mind here. You can debate the merits of government run versus private services for quite a while. And there is often a very large gray area where both sides might have a point. So long as a person can defend their opinion on such subjects, it's at least worth a monochrome of respect. Other opinions, though, are just outright ridiculous, if only harmful to those subscribing to the opinion. The Spirit Science Channel is a good example of this. This channel supports all manner of pseudoscientific nonsense, although that's really putting it lightly and does put those who buy into said nonsense in demonstrable jeopardy. In these cases, while I can respect that a person holds those opinions, the opinions themselves are not worthy of respect, and should be called out. And then there are opinions that are not only completely unworthy of respect, they are outright hurtful to others not subscribing to those opinions. Chief among those, at least for me, is the opinion that vaccines are dangerous. Those individuals, not only endanger themselves, but also those in their guardianship, people with reduced immunity, or those who simply cannot vaccinate. In short, they are not only a danger to themselves, but to others. Other examples of opinions that are not worthy of respect on this ground would be the opinion that women should not receive equal pay for equal work. The KKK's opinion that non-whites are inferior. Certain religions' opinions on what should be done to those who do not follow said religion. And, at the extreme end, the opinion expressed by the Nazis' final solution. If you think I just invoked Godwin's Law with that last one, you need to re-examine the context in which Godwin's Law applies. Which brings us, of course, to the opinion that gay people shouldn't get married. Is this opinion worthy of respect? 
Let me see. Does it affect other people besides those holding it? Yes. Does it have a negative consequence for those people? Yes. Can the opinion be defended without fallacious reasoning? Not that I've seen. So, no. I will not respect that opinion. And I certainly will lose respect for people holding it. The only reasons I can see for holding the opinion that gay marriage should not be legal are ones that fall firmly into the realm of bigotry, and I will not apologize for saying that. If you disagree with me, please say so below, but please defend that opinion. Cheers. Have a good night.